Mr. What's up? What are you doing? Right? I'm wonderful. Man, check this out, Miss Story. You already know why I'm why I'm smiling, but we're not gonna get <laughs> into that right now. I see, I see you. You got palm trees behind you. Where you at? Bay, look. Okay, so I'm in Hawaii. Um, this is like the vacation, the calm before the storm. So I'm out here chilling. I'm right by the pool, actually. So, um, hold on. Let me let y'all see the view real quick. Oh, 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 oh. my partner killing the game right now, man. My partner. It's beautiful my, out here. My partner living a living a best life. My partner living a best life right now, man. <laughs> Miss Story, man, this man, I see you, I see you in Hawaii. I'm just, I'm just in, I'm just in my room. I'm just in my room. I ain't bothering like you yet. Hey, hey, but we, we made this commitment to do Insecure, so oh, I had yeah. to make sure, even though I'm on vacation, I still got to come live with you. Absolutely, and the people appreciate you for it. We talking Insecure, season three, episode five, Miss Story. Yes, yeah. highlight. Say it again. Hi, like. That's okay. what the episode was called. My partner got the title <laughs> of Insecure, episode three, season, uh, excuse me, season three. Season three. <laughs> Miss Story. The, the, the uh, episode starts off. Now, remember, Issa just quit. We got y'all. Because yep. old boy from Houston, you know, kind of her, hyped her up. You know, and he told her, man, yo, man, don't go after your dreams, baby. So she quit the job, and she's working as a Lyft driver. She's just scooping people up. She's doing her Lyft thing, and we got y'all that's in the rearview mirror, right? And she working at the apartments as the maintenance person, too, so. You, you're right. She still works at the apartment uh, complex, and her and the girls, they agreed to go to Coachella, right? Yep. Or Bay, or, or Bay Chella. Bay Chella. <laughs> so, you know, the, the little, so, you know, um, Issa Rae runs up on Molly at the job, right? And she's mm -hmm. like, hey, hey, girl, you still going and everything. Molly's like, yeah, 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 you know, I got the last minute work I got to do, but let me knock this out and we going. Right. So, Molly, I mean, not Molly, Issa, she's getting her stuff together. Um, Amanda Seals and the Thick Girl, they meet up at the house or whatever. And Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, which one's Kelly? Kelly's the thick girl. Tiffany is Amanda Seals. Okay, you got Kelly and Tiffany. See, my partner's helping me with the names because <laughs> I just be watching and I be knowing people's real names. And if I don't know they, and if I don't know their real name, I just call them thick girls or something. But anyway, <laughs> Molly takes a last minute assignment. Why does she take this last minute assignment? Well, you know, she's trying to keep up with um old boy at the office. You know, he uh he really trying to uh get under her skin, kind of, or not get under her skin. She trying to be like, you know, how she was at her old firm, the person, like that it go-to girl. And so she just says that she could do it. I mean, how many times have you wanted to go do something else, but, you know, like, I need to look good in front of people, so um, I'm going to sacrifice this to so I can be better later on. So that's pretty much what she's doing. Absolutely, but but Miss Story in doing this, she out she almost missed out on on B Chella, you know? Bay Chella, Bay Chella, because she wasn't <laughs> gonna go. She's like, man, now nah, I gotta get the last minute work in and all that. And Tiffany and Kelly, right? Yes. Tiffany and Kelly told Issa because they all got in the car. They told Issa, hey, Molly ain't want to tell you, but she ain't going. Then Issa right. went on ahead and Facetime. They're like, say, man, hold on, man, we supposed to be going to be to. To Bay Keller, what's up with you? I'll help right. you do your work and all that. We'll do the work and we'll go to Bay Keller. So Molly agreed. So Molly met up with them uh, to go to Bay Keller, right? And then mm -hmm. what happens after that? Once we get to Bay Keller, it's just well, Lisa. she was she didn't even make it to Bay Keller. Honestly, they just got there and what? When the time Molly got there, Issa and everybody was asleep. So mm -hmm. they right. missed out. They missed out on the first night. They You're had right. to catch the second right. night. And Issa was upset about that, right? I don't think that she was upset. I think it was more like, okay, Molly's not here. It's cool. I had planned it out, but it's all good. We just going to hit it tomorrow. So she gets up early the next morning with these pans and stuff um, and done planned out the day for everybody. But it's really not going to go that way. But, yeah, she she tried to plan out the day to get them crunk. Mm, 
But in the meantime, who was that texting her though? Somebody was texting her. Oh, that was Nathan. Yep, old boy from H Town. He was texting her like, "Hey man, what's up with you?" <laughs> you know. Now was she ignoring her text? I, I didn't pay attention to that part. No, she wasn't. Oh, you talking about um, you talking about Molly or Issa? Somebody was somebody was texting Issa. No, the only person that texted Issa was Nathan. It was that one time. Okay, okay, okay. So by the time Molly when they got to yeah, when they got to Baychilla and she had planned out the day, then Nathan texted her when she was getting ready to uh when they were getting ready to head out for the um concerts and stuff. They were gonna get there early, remember to save a seat and all that. And Nathan texted and was like, Hey, I'm at the hotel or whatever. Um, come through and she was like oh change your plans yeah because that's when she changed some things up you know nathan that got there um nathan that got his extra ticket he brought his boys they met up with his boys and you know molly's mm -hmm. like oh okay i see why you changed the plans you know you done bought your you, you done bought your, your your boy toy here and he bought a right he bought an asian dude and another brother with him and the brother had the mollies on so, okay, so, so that was funny. Molly was doing Molly. <laughs> yeah, Molly squared. Uh, don't. Yeah. <laughs> so whack. <laughs> but so funny. <laughs> yeah, because it, it turned out. Man, listen, that turned out to be funny than a mug. Because your girl, Tiffany's the thick one, right? Tiffany's the pregnant one. Okay, so Kelly. Kelly the thick one. You know, she mm -hmm. was all into the drug taste. <laughs> you know, everybody else kind of had. And you know, um. Let me see. Amanda Seals. She Tiffany. Was, Tiffany. She was like, nah, I'm pregnant. You know, I ain't doing that. And I don't know y'all like that, man. So I ain't doing that. So everybody else except for Kelly had to be talked into it. But eventually everybody did the drugs. Right, but we didn't know we didn't know Tiffany did it until later though. We didn't find out that Tiffany took a bit of the brownie until later. <laughs> you right, you right, you right. And that was a beautiful part. We'll get that was a beautiful part. I like that part. We're gonna get to that. But they go to the they go to the to the Bay Cella. They go to the Bay Cella and by this time they drugged up. Now, yeah, they have. Issa Issa and my boy Nathan, they go to get some water, they end up on a Ferris wheel. And the rest of them save in the spot because, you know, um, Amanda Seals, Tiffany, she was like, hey, you know, we got to save the spot and all that. Yes. And, and Molly take that jacket off and be like, I got to save this spot with my life for my friend. And she was out of, she was out of there. That girl was out of there. She falling over. The Asian man had to come super up and all that. I think, look, I think, I just got to say, I think this was the funniest episode so far because they were so high. Like, it was so funny to me. Like, I could not stop laughing the whole time. Mm -hmm. They was jacked. They was jacked up. But, 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 Miss Story, my boy Nathan and Issa, they run off to the Ferris wheel. The Ferris yeah. wheel gets stuck in the air. Mm-hmm. Then what happens, though? Well, you know. She was kind of being real. Like, we see we see Aunt Issa being real again, right? And she talked about how the fact that she's scared as hell about her next steps. And, I mean, how many of us can relate to that? We scared about the next step that's going to happen, right? And he's like, you're going to be great. He sends that encouragement to her. Like, you know what? You're going to be great. Don't worry about it. You're awesome. You're going to be good. And then, you know, they just did their thing. <laughs> yeah, no, they did their thing. Listen, Miss Story, it was a combination of the drugs, just the, just the intimacy, the atmosphere. Right. Stuck up and next thing you know, hey man, look here. This was. I the, want you. <laughs> I didn't. This this is the. I never seen Issa in a sex scene like this. Why you haven't? You watched season one and season two. You watched her with Daniel. What are you talking about? I saw season one and season two, but I think this was the most revealing sex. No. Scene. No, her and Daniel was the most revealing inside the studio. But I mean, if you if you don't remember, it's okay. Go back and watch. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. My partner's schooling me, telling me to go back and watch it. I'm gonna have to go back and watch it. But she getting she riding the brother, the brother sucking on her and all that. I'm like, whoa, hold on, okay, oh, all right, HBO. I see why we gotta pay the subscription. Right. But you know what? One thing that I don't like about the show, uh, well, I won't say I don't like it. One thing that I feel like they don't talk about is protection right or they don't show it or we don't know what's happening and so it's like 
it kind of just endorses like you can just like have sex with anybody and not really like protect yourself or something so that's like one of my little hang-ups about the show but other than that i, I do like the storyline and everything about the show so anybody who's watching that's on your quotation or you know just you know whatever make sure you have safe sex okay safe sex is best sex yeah, so Issa Rae, we love you, but put some condoms in that thing somewhere, man. Just, so just let us know. The message of safe sex around this mug, man. But Miss Story, so Issa them getting banged up in the in the in the Ferris wheel that's in the sky, but what's mm -hmm. happening on the ground though? Oh my gosh, so they are high out of their minds. Okay, hey brother, my brother uh, waving at us. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> So they are high out of their minds at Baychella, okay? And Kelly done got mad at some like, well, first of all, she went to go get some waffles because you know Kelly always trying to eat. But um, she done got mad at some white girl about um, being in a spot. And it really wasn't even that serious. Like, it really just shows how when you are out of your element, how you overreact from things, and then you just go, like, crazy. So they started a fight, and it was like, what? <laughs> They whooping, they whooping up on the white girls and the Asian man and putting, <laughs> and putting the white guy in the chokehold and all that. So yes. they end up getting kicked out of um, out of Bay 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 before Beyonce even. They came to see Beyonce, but they getting kicked out before Beyonce even uh, performed. Hit right? the stage, yep. So yep. outside of Baychella, they done took and their wristbands <laughs> and, and your girl <laughs> Kelly. Kelly. Kelly's like, nah, man, I'm going to see Beyonce. Why the white people? No, first she said, why the white people got to get to see Beyonce? They ain't got to leave. That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point because they ain't kicked the white people out. True, but they didn't start it either. You so know. you got you to gotta look at it from both ways. Now, it was funny, right? When, I, when I'm watching it, I'm looking at it, but at the same time, I'm like, dang, do we really act like that? Do we really do that? Yes, we probably really do act like that. We probably really <laughs> do stuff like that, you know? So, I mean, I agree that, you know, the other people, whatever color they was, they was white in the show. But even if they was a different color, they shouldn't have got kicked out because it wasn't their fault they didn't start it. But okay. Kelly trying to run back, like, <laughs> I'm going to see Beyonce. You see that man didn't even budge, though. He just pulled out the taser like, eh. <laughs> Ooh, he hit her with that taser so good. She got the convulsions and everything. Next thing you know, she done fell over and she done peed on herself, man. <laughs> But he didn't even, like, did you see he wasn't even, like, upset? He didn't, he was like, okay, you want to run? Eh. Yeah, he wasn't tripping. He's like, all right, baby, I'm going to give you a head start. Go ahead. He <laughs> but I'm going to catch you. In a life real quick. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. My partner, Shawiti, saying, I have to tune into this recap later. I watched the episode. All right, yeah, go check out that. Yeah, episode. please, go watch the episode, girl. <laughs> this was a good this was, as a matter of fact, for me, this was the best episode. We're going to get into that part a little later. But Stop this it. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah Miss Story, I'm coming for you on this one. <laughs> Check this out, Miss Story. So they leave. They go back home. Issa's feeling, Issa's feeling a little crazy because she's like, man, did all this stuff happen because of me? She walks in the house, and Molly's on the floor with a laptop just typing whatever. <laughs> Because, I don't know, I guess her job called her about some... Yeah. About the, um, remember she said that she was going to be able to do the brief over the weekend or whatever. And then, because they didn't have service at Baychella, she, um, got all the messages, like, when they were getting kicked out. So then she freaked out and was like, oh, my God, I got all these messages. I got to answer. I got to see what's up. You know, what's happening. It's my job. I don't want Torin, I think that's his name, Torin, to swoop in and save the day or whatever. So she's really trying to play catch up at the office, basically. Mm-hmm. And then and, girl, and Kelly's tripping. Yeah, Kelly's and tripping. Tiffany's she tripping. Saved. She's supposed to trip. <laughs> she done been saved. <laughs> and then my girl Tiffany, Tiffany lets us know that you, and Tiffany's pregnant. She done bit into a brownie and she's high. <laughs> she's in the uh, closet with her with her husband crying on the phone. Like, oh, I'm the worst mother ever. I done bit into this brownie. Oh, no, it's weak. And Issa's trying to calm everybody down, like, hey, man, let's all just chill. And eventually they mm -hmm. go to sleep. So what happens after that, uh, Miss Story? Issa so they go to sleep, they wake up the next morning, and uh, they just laugh about it, honestly. Like, oh, we was messed up. Like, what? But the funny thing is, Kelly don't remember that she was tased or that all that stuff happened. She was like, I peed on myself? I got... Mm -hmm. I think I got tased last night. Yeah. <laughs> because you did. <laughs> now, 
No, uh, Tiffany is looking um, for some water. Ain't no right. water in the refrigerator. All they have is vodka. Ain't no water. She can't drink that because she's pregnant. But right. Lisa and Tiffany go to the store to get some water. And in the car, I'm not going to lie to you, Miss Story. I thought this was a beautiful moment because Tiffany is feeling it, it, Tiffany's not being all extra and better mm -hmm. than anybody else like she usually does in the episode. She's she turned like into the real person. She was vulnerable. And mm -hmm. I really felt her in this scene. And you could tell that there may, there may be some type of separation in the future from the friends. Because she's the only one that's married and, you know, everybody else single doing their own thing. And when she's yeah. with them, she's eating weed brownies and stuff. Right. Well, I think we have to realize that, you know, um, we find out that Tiffany's a real person, right? Mm -hmm. And so we find out how they get to really connect with her, like why they're friends with her. But then you also have to look at it from the other perspective. Like, the Mary part doesn't bother any of them, right? Because technically they were all kind of in relationships and stuff like that. I think that the change in the dynamic is the fact that she's pregnant, right? So now that when you have a baby, like, your life changes, right? right? So, I mean, I just give example for my friends. Like, I have plenty of friends that I'm friends with forever. But their life changes when they're pregnant and I have to, when they have a baby. And I have to remember, like, oh, girl, you can't hang out like we used to hang out. Oh, we got to get a babysitter or... You know, we got to make sure that we're doing other things different. It doesn't mean we can't be friends anymore. It just changes the dynamic of the friendship, you know. So um, I think that was a really beautiful part in the episode. I think, now, if you say this was the best episode, I think this part was the best of the episode because it really kind of shows how women really truly react to when their friends, you know, um, are get married or have are get pregnant or, you know, go through the transition in life versus guys be like, oh, you having a baby. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're right, because the, the thing I really liked about it, we get a bunch of jokes um, within this uh, episode, within the show, within all the episodes. Like, for example, not to get too, too off track, when they be watching these old goofy shows that they watch, <laughs> you got Bill Bellamy's at a funeral, and, and one, the dude who does the wind down, he's in the, he's in the casket, he jumps out and right. starts running, and, and Bill Bellamy's doing like this, this ditty dance to him and all. It's just goofy. I love it. But we still get these serious moments, though. Uh, right. Tiffany's like, hey, listen, you know, I'm having this child. You know, it, it's going to change. And like you said, for a man, we're not the one having a child. So we could just get away from the woman for two hours and go hang with our homeboy. But these women, they have these children. They can't just up and leave like that, right? Right. Now. Absolutely. Now here's the here's woo, here's the most beautiful part of <laughs> Lord. for me. Lord. Story. Issa goes into this seven eleven. You know, she's looking for some water and she sees um what's the light skin brother? Chad. Yeah, Chad. Chad. He's Chad. And I like Chad. Chad's funny. He's sipping on a slurpee and he's like, Oh, okay. And then woo! Guess who comes from around the corner, Miss Story? Lauren. Yes. King <laughs> Lawrence, we back in the building. Check this out, Miss Story. I've been keeping Wait. Lawrence's name alive this whole episode. <laughs> and I've been saying his name so much that he appeared. My boy Lawrence no. is back, Miss Story. <laughs> Wait, okay, so I'm going to just go fast forward a little bit. For the people that watched the wind down, right, even Issa was surprised, right? So Issa didn't know that Lawrence was coming back. They kept it from her. So she, they even asked her, like, how she felt when he came back. So to be to be fair, right, she didn't know he was coming back until she seen that episode, right, or to, until they taped that episode. So I get that you team Lawrence, okay? You can be team Lawrence. What I don't like, though, is every time Issa try to start something new, here comes some X or here comes some. So she was trying to be with Lawrence. Here come Daniel, right? She trying to talk to Nathan. Here come Lawrence back all over again. We, we my girl ever catch a break, man. Hey, hey, Issa, <laughs> you got to deal with it, Issa Ray. You got that good brother Lawrence that was trying to do his thing for you. He had some shortcomings, but he was figuring it out. And now my boy made his return <laughs> on season three, episode five. And now you got to deal with Lawrence. Nathan's still in okay. the building, but you got to deal <laughs> with my boy Lawrence, man. That's what happens when a big dog yeah. comes back into play. Uh, 
Oh, he the big dog. Yeah, that's the big dog. <laughs> that's the big homie. See, we not talking about Daniel no more. Daniel, and, and I like Daniel. I like Daniel. Daniel did his thing, you know, but 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 he out the picture. We got my boy Lawrence back in the in the in the picture. Now tell me, how that's did a good picture. You feel when Lawrence came back in the picture. I was kind of. You know, I was like, when I saw Chad, I knew something was about to happen. I just didn't know what was going to happen. And I was like, oh, so Lawrence back. So kind of, I felt like, what's going to happen? Like, I want to see what's going to happen. But I don't want her to get back with Lawrence, though. I don't want her to go backwards. I want her to move forward. Now, I do believe that if things come back around and that's what, where she's meant to be at, then it's cool. But I think that she shouldn't stop. Uh, what she already has going to go backwards. And the reason why I say that is, one, she transitioned everything about herself, right? She moved out of Daniel's place, so she has her own spot, right? She quit her job and met something new outside of the picture. So I feel like if she brings old back in, then she may fall back in her old ways. So I'm just, I'm going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say that my guy Lawrence is too good for Issa. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Lawrence, keep doing your own thing, buddy. Let Issa figure out her situation, because you're on to something great, Lawrence. Man, I love this episode. I'm hype about this episode. Miss Story. He only like it because Lawrence came back. Yeah, I'm repping for my boy. My boy back in the building, Miss Story. But I, I know you got the palm trees behind you. You trying, <laughs> trying to jump into the pool and all that. But before we get up out of here, Tell the people you got something coming up soon. Tell the people what you got yeah. coming up soon, real quick. So I'm gonna tell the people what I got coming up, and then we can tell what we got coming up. Okay. okay. I'll let you tell that. Okay. Um. So on Saturday when I get back, yes, I'm vacationing, but I am still working. This is a workingcation. But on Saturday when I get back, um, we're having the Afro Chick 5K. So it would definitely be um, starting at 8 a.m. So if you're a runner, you can still register. You just go and click the link in my bio. So you go to Miss underscore story. So M-S underscore S-T-O-R-I. Click the link at the top and go ahead and register for the race. I'm so excited. We got some amazing stuff happening, man. Like, I mean, Be Kind is now a sponsor. They are bringing some, um, I think, some bars, some kind bars, right? Um, you know, Crystal Wall still coming out. We got some yoga, wifey life fitness. I mean, I'm sure I'm leaving some people's names out, but it's just gonna be a whole bunch of people, man. It's gonna be amazing. I'm definitely excited about it. Mm -hmm. Y'all take y'all taking donations like for that? that. We taking donations. So if you go click the link, you can also click um and donate as well. It's donating to um a great cause. So it's for the Rose. Um the Rose of Houston, they have a campaign um uh, for black women. Um if people don't know um, African-American women are dying at a higher rate from breast cancer than any other race. It's not that, um, that we can't be cured, but we're being diagnosed at younger ages. So the legal, I mean, well, the insurance says you can't get uh, a mammogram until 40. Mm -hmm. But there are people, are women that are 35, 32, and they're 29 that are being diagnosed um, with, with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and we're missing them because we don't know, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we're just really trying to... Let people know, like, check yourself out if you feel something wrong, you know, go get checked out. Um, and, yeah, so it's all for there. It's all sitting around the Rose Tech Center stage, which is happening October the 7th. Um, and we're going to see the play, The Kink in My Hair. So, hence why it's Afro Chig, Afros, all that stuff. Just kind of putting everything all together. Absolutely. And it's supporting us. I'm going to make sure I jump in that donation uh joint you know bless the game real quick because it's supporting us supporting breast cancer and everything you do miss story it's always something that it's always something with purpose that's what i like about it. yeah yeah it's but, always about community man it's all about bringing something together man absolutely absolutely and you know um it's let me see so it's myself my partner miss story my partner uh j sam leadership my partner uh uh, Nigel Rashid, we have a, we have a, um, man, I'm so lit, I don't even know what to call the thing. <laughs> <laughs> call have, it the name of it. <laughs> we have a networking event, True Ambition, yes. a cultural um, retrospect. I'm sorry, I'm lit right now. But it's <laughs> November 10th, it's going to be beautiful. Y'all will get more information on that coming soon, man. We about to, this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be sexy. If You're going to need to be there, man. If you missed this, you played yourself, man. But we're going to have more right. information on that coming soon, man. But 
Miss Story, this is a, it's always a joy to do this with you. I'm gonna let you get because them palm trees looking beautiful in the background. I'm gonna let you. And they starting to play this nighttime music. It's only let me see what time is it here. It's only six oh six. Oh, girl, it's like eleven o'clock over here, man. <laughs> but but man, check this out, Miss Story. I'm gonna let you do your thing, girl. It's always a pleasure. Man, Bread Tuck Rob, Bread Tuck Gang forever. Man, my partner, Miss Story, we got the I Am Queen, uh, and we repping. Man, y'all mucho, take it easy. All right, girl. Peace out.